You ever found yourself just kind of watching one drama after the next with high expectations and just, uh, they just kind of fall flat? I've been watching way too many dramas lately and recently I've just been bouncing from one drama to the next and I want to know if that happens to you as well. Have you been uh, disappointed by some of the dramas that have a lot of hype and have a lot of media attention behind it and a lot of people talking about it? but then they just kind of fall flat and I don't know what it is. A lot of those ratings that you might see on my drama list or you go on Viki and they have these 9.5s, 9.6s and you start to watch them and then after you get to maybe a few episodes from five or six or whatnot, however long it takes for you to decide whether it's going to be worth your investment, they've just been falling flat. For me, for example, it's been Legend of Awakening. I mean, I went through maybe 30 episodes. I probably should have just finished it because it was I was almost there, but I couldn't take it anymore. It was just... <laughs> and then I jumped over to Ancient Detective and I... It, there was something about it. I mean, it was still a little bit refreshing, but it didn't really catch my attention. I couldn't stay focused. I went over to Sword Dynasty and Boom, that was amazing and I thought it was great. If you want to see that video, you can check it out right here or right here. I don't know where I'm pointing to. Enter Song of Glory. It kind of premiered <laughs> without too much fanfare, uh, not little media attention and it just kind of premiered like earlier in July and I have been watching it and man, I really, really enjoy it so far. And if you're watching it as well, let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's really good. It stars Lee Chin who happened to have a previous role in Joy of Life and now she is the lead actress here in The Song of Glory, which is a little interesting because her role, her character in Joy of Life was a little bit more of a naive princess where here in Song of Glory, she's like a badass assassin. She's beautiful, she's elegant, and she's deadly. All of the action sequences that center around her are really, really impressive. And that's what really kind of kickstarts this show right off the bat. It also stars Chin Hao, and I didn't know much about Chin Hao. Um, apparently, he is this indie actor who's been around the entertainment industry for a really long time. He just came out with a drama called The Bad Kids, which had a lot of accolades, and a lot of people are really praising it, and I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, but it's on my list. This show just bulldozes you like right off the bat. It's what caught my attention in the first place the action, the intrigue, the political plots and twists, and there's a little tiny bit of romance, but the way it's set up, it's a really fast-paced show. And it might slow down later on, but right now, it's an episode, the way they set it up, it's one cliffhanger after the next. And the next thing you know, I am so deep and entangled into the story that I found myself watching episodes that don't have subtitles yet. And I don't know if that's happened to you, and I don't know how often that's happened to you, but it never happens to me. I usually just wait for the subtitles to be ready and so that I can get all the details. But I find myself watching the episodes with like 50% subtitles. And yes, my wife is Chinese and, you know, I might ask her a few things here and there, but she, she won't know. I mean, Mandarin is not her native language, and so... Um, I don't know. You let me know if that's happened to you and you're just kind of connecting the dots. I'm probably just gonna have to stop watching this and wait for the subtitles to return. And so that's kind of where I found myself. And that's why I think this show is uh, is just so captivating. There was just something about this show. The action is amazing. The martial arts choreography is amazing. Um, and the acting is really good. You know, Chin Hao and Lee Chen do a really good job. They're a great pair. And I can't wait to see what happens and unfold. What makes the story so compelling is that it's done in this linear fashion where it revolves around a central group of characters. A noble family, Li Chen, who, have, who plays the role of Li Ge, who is this orphan assassin, brought up to be an assassin. It's, it's so cool. And then the crown prince and the royal family, right? And it just revolves around the intricate plots and, and twists of political intrigue and revenge and a little bit of romance and, and it's the balance is really well done because 
um, you have these bad villains, right? And there's something about the villains that, you know, if, if a villain makes you feel like you want to reach across and strangle them, <laughs> then that's a good villain. Look at this villain's face. I mean, just his facial expressions make you angry. I think the show has done a really good job of keeping you on your toes. And I think that's why it's a really good reason for you to check it out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Check out Song of Glory. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I want to talk about it. I just want more and more people to discover this show. Um, and I think it's going to be worth the ride. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Flip. Uh, leave a comment in the section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that bell notification for more videos from us. And I will see you next time.